Mind in the Gap is about so many things. It's about you know, race, uh, class, education, you know, family, uh, violence. All those things are stacked together to create you know, what um, a, a adolescent um, experiences that teaches them things that translate into behavior. And so we really need to like, look at the gestalt of it all to um, really improve relationships between you know, men and women, fathers and sons, um, sons and mothers. And originally it was intended to be the survey film where I went around the country and interviewed a bunch of skateboarders to try to get at what it means to become a man in this country. Uh, but then it quickly morphed into this character-driven verite film uh, where I followed two of my friends uh, over the course of uh, about four years. And uh, I didn't really intend to be in my film at all, but uh, I slowly realized through feedback screenings that people wanted to know that I was a skateboarder too. I grew up with them and uh, I experienced some similar issues that they experienced in the film. We tried a lot of different things, but ultimately we ended up um, coming up with the idea that my storyline would be a puzzle piece that you sort of have to slowly piece together in a way that really pays off by the end of the film. When you hear personal documentary, it really like comes with a certain sort of uh, cachet or a certain idea. And I think we really wanted to surprise people. Um, so the idea was to really um, show the edges of the, of the story and have that be sort of our device into breaking the fourth wall. So it's never really supposed to be about my story. It's just about, it's, it's more about how my story relates to the two, the two main characters and how our stories resonate off each other. I grew up in a time where in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s, where you know, if you're a skateboarder, you know, it, there's very few of us, you know, especially in the Midwest. So you'd like look at someone walking by and they had skate shoes on, you'd look at each other and be like, you know, like, yep. <laughs> you know? Um, so there's that natural trust with skateboarders, um, especially back when I was an adolescent, um, in that we just, we knew that uh, we were really passionate about this one thing that's really hard to do. And like, if you get to a certain level, it's like we have respect for each other. Well, I broke my arm when I was 14, and, and it was like a really bad break. I, I broke both my ulna and my radius, and you know, above the elbow cast, so I couldn't really skate for a while. And so I like saved up all my lunch money and like scrounged. You know, I got my first job when I was 14 and bought this uh, used uh, soccer mom camera and just started filming. But then I just got more into filming and became really passionate about it. I did a fellowship with Cartemquin, a diversity fellowship, DVID. And um, out of that fellowship, they fell in love with the project. Cartemquin did and uh, brought me on as a co-production. Over the next couple of years, I kept you know, working in the film. Then Steve James was uh, looking for young filmmakers who he knew could well work well with uh, young people for a series called that became America to Me. And so you know he reached out to me out of the blue, and I was like, oh, Steve James just emailed me. <laughs> but we went out for coffee, and it was very informal. He just asked me about my life, and we just chatted. He sort of mentored me for a little bit, like you know before we started filming America to Me. And then eventually I just worked up the nerve to ask him to come on as an EP. I never thought I would go to Sundance until I met my editor about six months ago and he took a look at my rough cut and he was like, I think this can go to Sundance. But even then I was sort of like, eh, I don't know, man, but it happened. I want to continue telling stories about um, Midwestern youth and coming of age stories. And you know, I, really want, I, I really think that we live in a society that's you know, very connected in terms of the internet and everything like that. Um, but at the same time, very um, isolated. And I, I don't just mean politically, but emotionally as well. And I, th I think I really want to sort of um, try to tell stories that bridge that gap. Mm -hmm.